and we continue to track uh, the remnants of Tropical Depression Barrel as it slowly makes its way out of the Southern Plains and into the Ohio Valley. Latest track from the National Hurricane Center has shifted it a little bit further to the west. That's pulling the uh, rainfall potential and the greatest impacts from Barrel away from our area in the Ohio Valley. Still doesn't mean we can't see some rainfall here. Uh, Weather Prediction Center saying a, a half inch or so to a quarter inch is certainly possible uh, across our area, but you've got to get well back to the west uh, where you run into big time rainfall amounts. Thankfully, we will miss out on that. We'll be mostly dry for a good part of the day. Then as we get toward this afternoon and this evening, as the center of Barrel gets closer, we start to increase those chances for showers and thunderstorms. Notice here nice and quiet with future cast as we go through the remainder of the morning and into the afternoon. But by this evening, we start to see some of those uh, chances for a couple of pop up showers. And then tonight, a better chance of more widespread activity, most likely after the Reds game against the Rockies has wrapped up at uh, Great American Ballpark there. So a uh, plan for some thunderstorms as you're headed to bed tonight. Then tomorrow we'll be on the back side of the system. We'll start to see those winds pick up and some leftover showers uh, for the most part across much of the Ohio Valley. So in, in terms of severe storms, an isolated storm for most of us, you get west of I-71 into southern Indiana. Those chances for severe weather does pick up. Again, uh, mainly a heavy rain and a tornado threat because the circulation around a tropical system aids in tornado genesis, but those tornadoes are usually weak and short lived mid 80s today uh, for just about everybody. Maybe a couple of 90 degree readings uh, the further south you get toward that uh, I 71 75 split lows tonight remaining on the muggy side as we will only fall into the upper 60s and lower 70s the closer that you get toward the Ohio River. And then as we look ahead into the future, a breezy, cloudy and cooler day on Wednesday with highs only in the uh, upper 70s. But then we do start to warm up as we get into the end of the work week and into the weekend. Uh, maybe an isolated shower or storm both Saturday and Sunday, but that would be the exception rather than the rule. And as many of us head back to work on Monday, well, we'll be greeted with high temperatures that are expected to reach the lower 90s.